Hello, welcome to studentlearning.in, your e-learning buddy. Welcome back to our channel guys. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to join the family. Today I'm going to explain the basic environment of SAP. So there is a software, software name is SAP 9.2. So you can see there is a lot of windows in SAP framework. At the right hand side, there is called Explorer window. Explorer window is a basically is a collection of all the library of SAS, just like map, SAS help, SAS user, work, map SAS. These are predefined library of SAS. On the right hand side, there is two windows. On the top side, the window name is log window. Log window is basically responsible to write the SAS code. For example, now I am going to explain the first example of SAS. It's very basic. For that, just write data. Data is a keyword of SAS. After that, you can mention the table name of SAS. For example, the table name is Amit. So, in this scenario, Amit is your table name, and these are the commands. And command or statement is always terminated by semicolon. After that, suppose there are two variables in this field like x and y simple we can mention all the variables with the help of input keyword just we can write input x you can differentiate both the variables with the help of space because in case of sas there is no comma allowed in sas and every statement is terminated with semicolons after that there is another keyword the keyword name is data line with the help of this keyword, you can enter the values of x and y. For this, just enter, type the values of x and y. In this scenario, in case of first observation, in the first observation, the value of x is 23 and the value of y is 45. In case of second observation, the value of x is 34 and the value of y is 67. In case of third observation, the value of x is 36 and the value of y is 56. These are different different observations. So in case of observation, you can terminate it at the once. That means at a single time. Just enter and terminate by semicolon. After that, you can write the final command. The final command is done run is again a statement so run is also terminated by semicolon so your first SAS code is ready after that you can select entire SAS code like this after that you can just click submit button on your menu bar just press so you can see on the log window the data set work dot commit has three observation and two variables that means in the SAS environment, the default library is the work. Amit is your table name. You can see now there are three records. That means there are three observations in this table and there are two variables and the variable's name is X and Y. So we can just check with the app of work folder. You can just click. So there is a lot of table available in this scenario. So just click the table name is Amit. You can see. So this is a view table, there is two variables x and y and there are three observations 1, 2, 3. The first observation is 23, 45, 34, 67, 36 and 56. So this is the result of your table and suppose this is one scenario and suppose you want to display your result in report form. So that is very simple criteria. Just write prop, prop is a procedure, print data, name of your data source, that means name of your table. Like suppose in this scenario, your table name is Amit. After that, that is terminated by semicolon. After that, you can use run command. Again, procedure is same. Just select entire code 
and press this submit button so you can see this time your table is show on the report format so this is a third segment like x and y if you can see the value of your observation 1 2 3 is 23 45 34 6 to 7 36 and 56 so this window is basically called result viewer or you can say it's an output window of sas so there are two kind of output first is with the using of sas output window and second one your table in the form of your result in the form of table so this is a very basic example in case of sas so there is one more example suppose i want to create a table with three variables like name age and salary with three observations so it's very simple just write data amit1 because amit is already created then say inchen but declare all the variables suppose your first variable is name name is a string in case of says just define or just declare dollar sign in front of the string variables that means in this scenario name is a string because name is a collection of characters and age, there is no issue with age because age is a integer and integer is by default in case of says third one is salary is again integer there is no issue in case of salary terminated data lines you can enter the values of says like first observation like commit 23 salary is like 56 Sixty-seven thousand. Add record. The two Saturday sixty. Just to execute run button. After that, you can select this, and you can execute with the app of submit button. It's clear. Now we can see with the app of explorer window. Just open and check. There is another window. The window is Amit, and you can see there is three variables and three observations Amit, Deepak, Sony, and age is 23, 24, 22, and Sad is 56,000, 67,000, and 64,000. So, this is a case when you can define a string variables in your SAS environments. So, this is very simple. There is another scenario. Suppose I, I want to create a table like data commit to and in this scenario there is a two observations first is m1 marks of first subject second one is m2 marks of three subjects so for that simple define input m1 m2 after that just define data lines like 23, 56, 7, 34, 77, run, and then just execute run. Then select, just, just execute submit button. So you can see in log window there is one dot of it has three observation and two variables. We can check with the help of project explorer like commit 2 so you can see there is a m1 and m2 now my question is entirely different now commit 3 at data equal to 2 in this scenario commit 3 is your new table name and commit is your previous table name that means commit to means there is a value of m1 and m2 so we can use commit two for this just write m is equal to m1 plus m and then select this code and execute submit button so you can see there is a syntax error that means it shows an error like statement will be ignored. So I think there might be error. 
So in this scenario, we can check just commit 3. Commit 3 is here. You can see there is no observation. So in this scenario, table is created but your output is not executed. So I think there is a sub issue in your table. So what we can check like uh, set data equal to commit 2. So I think commit 2 is here. Yes. Commit is your team table name it is the issue with this code so with the help of this window you can also check your syntax there are any kind of errors thank you so much for watching please leave your questions in the comment section down below make sure to like share and subscribe to student learning Check out more courses from us and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, basically everywhere. The link is always in the description. We will be back with more lectures. Stay tuned and have a good day. Bye.